we know what libraries are in our new Octane Assembler pipeline. If you haven't seen the main video about the whole libraries concept, I encourage you to start with that first. We discuss the main differences of RBX and OCS containers as well as covered some neat tips and tricks. In this video, we will discuss how to build libraries in Houdini directly, which in some cases may be much faster than doing it by hand in standalone. We will look into several scenarios. First one, libraries that contain a lot of objects uh, with shared shaders, pebbles, twigs, debris, uh, Houdini PDG assets, and things like that. Libraries that have dozens of variations of the same thing. Second one, uh, libraries with heavy assets, such as trees, especially animated ones. Something that you would want to avoid baking into RBX, because such baking, as we know, can be very long and unoptimized. Currently, LMI uh, Octane Shop Manager is only implemented in Solaris and Houdini. And luckily for us, uh, Houdini's Solaris Octane plugin developer left uh, a way of troubleshooting things for himself that turned out to be a feature for our pipeline rather than a bug. So I requested to leave it. Let's import some tweaks from Quixel Bridge. Yes, we still use that a lot. I will use LMI Scatter tool as a bridge to quickly send fully shaded assets into Solaris. We will look into scattering functionalities in other videos. For now, let's just concentrate on these assets in Solaris. Our tool set it all up, assigned shader and scattered the assets, but we don't need scatters for this particular library. In LMI Octane Shot Manager, we just enable RBX workflow and export the file to wherever we need. Let's inspect it and we see the geometry.abc branch. That's what baking usually do, and that would be the only thing exported. But we don't need it. What we need are these individual assets neatly connected to a single shader. That's the feature I request to leave. We will leave this and tidy up the graph the same way as we discussed in previous video. Add outputs and name them. Now you have a neatly organized, ready-to-go library of twigs. The downside of this method is that it's RBX, meaning it's a duplicate of geometry and textures within RBX, not a reference of the assets from where they were imported from. I also mentioned Houdini PDG generated assets. There's a great tool called the Render Network API HDA, and it brings PDG look dev with Octane and Render Network to another level. For those of you who may not be familiar with PDG, PDG is a, a Houdini way of creating dozens of variations of something from a single source. So this tool automates job submissions to the network right out of Houdini have 500 variations to iterate? No problem. Can as well render them with Octane in one go. So if you prefer to assemble your libraries from Houdini, then this tool is definitely something you need to look into because log LogDev and iteration speed skyrockets with this. Set your wedging overnight, come back to fully Octane rendered versions that are also sent to you in Telegram. The link to the author and the tool is in the video description. Second case with trees. We assembled a library of trees in previous video, but I didn't show the process in the DCC. We use speed tree and process them in Houdini. Uh, when I need to export a species of several trees into a library, especially animated ones, manually the process may get tiresome. I don't want to use previous method too, because baking RBX with trees will become an unnecessarily long process. I made a LMI Alembic splitter. It mimics the splitting functionality of Octane Shot Manager, but for Alembics and in SOP level. If you want to render complex animated assets on the render network, it would help with splitting animations the same way as we split RBX. About the whole splitting thing, we will talk in a separate video. I'm just showing it because the following automation I'll show you is based on this tool. So I use LMI shelf tools as well. One button sets the rig up. It is looking for all null nodes without in their name. So you do whatever you need to do and then put a null in the end named out. 
pretty basic Houdini hygiene. On root level, select the trees that you want to export, click set the rig. The tool will find everything it needs to export and set a new context and a controller node for you. This controller is a mimic of LMI Alembic Splitter. That's why I mentioned it. You can set everything you need here and it will propagate the settings to everything you want to export. Again, we're not talking about splitting just yet, so we will skip splitting and just export these Alembics. I will go to our pine trees library now, import geometry, import textures, put them all together and save as you usually would. All this opens up an ocean of possibilities, ways of automating and optimizing even further. But we need more interest in the pipeline in order to bring evolution to Octane standalone itself. As usual, thank you for watching. Press like, uh, comment, spread the word. I will see you in the next video where we will discuss how to work with point clouds from Houdini.